feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave To the system I don't wanna be a slave Hello everyone and welcome to my channel So I have very brand new bike over here From brand new company, Mi Bike uh, They have two bike, uh, two different uh, style One is uh, step over, another one is uh, step through So they call them gallop and gallop step through This one should be a black, like me so we'll see how fast it can go. I'll do some uh, speed limiter change. Also, I will uh, make sure everything works perfectly before riding the bicycle because this bicycle comes with an app. You have to set up before riding with your phone if you want to, so you can lock it in. It's like sec security uh, settings in it, so nobody can use your bike without you. Uh, also, this bike comes with a torque sensor which is really great future so it will save a lot of battery and you can go for longer range also you'll get better exercise if you want to so you can enjoy uh, just cruise around or pedal so I'll do the unboxing show how to install it and by the end of this video you will know everything about this bicycle well, that's how it looks in a box it's hard to see anything because it's a well packaged I know the bike is heavy, so it have to be well packaged, otherwise it may get damaged through products. They just drop it crazily. So it looks good. Fender, everything, rack, everything looks like good. So I will install the tire. A little bit different from manufacturer most likely. So I would remove uh, this side with a larger spacer completely okay and you insert it with a smaller spacer on the side of the brake disc over here on this side okay and make sure you install the small one on the brake side attach the spacer and I'll attach the washer and the bolt later so what you do first you step on this plastic with one feet and lift up the bike so it will remove the plastic and then you just insert the tire okay make sure you put a brake between the pad and then you can um, open your stand on the side so the bike can stay this way uh, so the smaller spacer on this side where the brakes, the brakes going between, the disc going between the pads, it's hydraulic brakes, so make sure you don't press them because they will lock it in. You don't tighten it until you put the spacer on this side. And on this side you have space as well, it's a larger spacer. And then you just put a washer like this and the bolt. And then you tighten with the range, it comes with real nice from both sides. And I'm gonna retighten everything before I will start to ride. And the next step is a handlebar. So you would remove these four bolts and the bra bracket first with the Allen key. Then you take your handlebar, just lift it up. And it's pretty simple. You just you take this handlebar and attach and then uh, you would put the bracket on top of it and just uh, replace the bolts back the one you removed and tighten up with allen key that's it uh, you can re-tighten once you're ready to ride and adjust the handlebar because it can be adjusted uh, going uh, further closer to you or further from you and the next step i would attach the mud guard just because it's uh, enough space and easy to work with here so you would remove this uh, bolt and the nut and some washer it comes in so then you just slide in from behind this uh, mud guard and uh, 
uh, area touch this uh, nut on top but first you use a washer and then the nut and it comes with a locking nut so it will stay in place better so you just re-tighten up back then you would remove on the side the bolt with the nut and uh, reattach the mud guard from both sides the same way and the next step is to attach this uh, big uh, headlight you will remove these two bolts from the sides make sure you don't lose them use the allen key to remove them and once they're removed you just reattach uh, with the same bolts and you would attach right over here you can uh, if it's uh, doesn't fit you can loosen up on the sides there's few bolts you can loosen up also you can move them up and down if you want to it's completely adjustable and then you just reattach it with the same bolt and again they're using the allen key and it's very simple to do it and then uh, you would need to reattach these two wires uh, this should be a very simple uh, plug-in. So now it's time to attach the pedals. The pedals come with L like for left, right for right. So the left side will be on your left side over here. You just attach it by hand first. You need to remove these two screws from both sides and reattach the rack up a little bit and then reattach it with the same screw so far i'm very pleased with the bike actually the quality the make everything looks really good to me uh, so i would need to remove the battery to see how big is the battery i'm gonna weigh the battery to see how heavy the battery as well so you need to unlock it then over here is a button you just push it and it will drop down you remove it actually it's heavy battery it's a 960 watt hour battery which is really big should last between like 40 to 50 miles probably not sure but if it's torque sensor for real it might even longer so let's see how much okay i only have two bar over here so i would need to charge fully before to ride first time and then once i totally recharge the battery and you can charge the battery over here or on the bike on the side over here so it's pretty cool and this is a speed test without load and i'll do speed test riding this bicycle as well all right guys so the bike is assembled i have to charge the battery of course and i recommend you to charge the battery until it's 100 percent charged the green light is on it's very good for the battery second make sure you put the enough pressure in your tires it's recommended 20 psi i put about 17 front and rear but depend what terrain you're gonna ride it can hold up to 30 psi and i'll show you how to use this bicycle as well so you turn on the bicycle by pressing this power button for about two seconds and you'll see me bike the display it's not as large but it's very clear uh, you can see actually percentage battery which is great then you can see uh, how many miles you rode and the trip mile also average mileage you ride headlight will be on top it's automatically turn on headlight at night so but if you want to do it at daytime you just press the plus button and hold it and you'll see the headlight will be on the display will get a little bit darker if you want to increase your speed it's very simple you press power button for once only it'll go to settings and then you use plus or minus and you're going to info section and press power then you'll see wheel size and speed limit you select the speed limit by going through plus or minus press yes it's a power button over here press it and then you'll see how fast you want to go and you can uh, move 
up or down the plus or minus and select in blue 45 kilometers and press power button one more time then you have to go back all the way here press back and exit the same way the settings for bluetooth you can connect your bluetooth to the app which i didn't really like uh, app it's there's nothing uh, other than safety you can uh, secure actually uh, your bike so nobody can ride it unless you are with your phone and you have to have a gps on on your phone active internet and you can unlock this bike with uh, bluetooth and change the headlight on and off and there's not much and see the speed it's going on and mileage and so on so you can also click on information change languages you want on display different uh, color and uh, display settings will give you also if you want meters or kilometers uh, you can um, have the display after off and on so basically if you don't use it for a few minutes it will be off and you can reset trip adjust the brightness and uh, max PS it's a maximum pedal assist and I think it's not adjustable light sensitivity it means uh, most likely how sensitive your lights headlights gonna be that's what I believe and that's about it so you have to exit completely in order to start to use this bicycle the bell you use this way okay you turn in this way and use this the brakes are great but I do need some adjustment I try to adjust it but it still give me some squeaks so I need to adjust the brakes front brakes but rear brakes came perfectly fine derailleur is good everything it's solid on this bicycle good quality looks like parts so I'm gonna go for a ride and share my experience with you I set the PS to zero so I'm riding completely with turn off mode right now and it rides just perfectly fine up to 10 miles an hour as you can see this uh, very easy to pedal because you have 7 speed Shimano and um, display does have a USB underneath so you can uh, plug in your phone to charge it or headlight if you want extra so basically it comes with USB port and it's uh, very easy to pedal even um, as you can see the stability of the bike is great I usually don't ride without hands but with this bike it's so easy and so stable as you can see it's uh, very nice also uh, because it's fat tire bikes but it comes with dual suspension which works really great on this bicycle I'll show you more how the front suspension works and also the rear suspension as well riding on this bicycle it's a little bit you can feel a little bit between your legs this uh, frame and seat depends how close you see it the closer to the handlebar you see it then less you feel but i like to see it a little bit back all right so now i will do the speed test to see how much actual speed is because sometimes they are showing less sometimes they show more the display from the bicycle so let's go and I'll use throttle only to see how fast. So now it's like 17, 19, 20, 22. And GPS uh, speed always two miles, two to three miles, show less. So GPS show me right now 23, so it's 25 about. So on this display it's 24. yes i need to adjust the brakes um to remove the oil i think i when i was adjusting it i got so i'm gonna have one more test i'll do another test uh don't pay attention to the brakes uh yesterday i did adjustment to it and um, it was a little bit bent so i even up just a little bit so it looks good but uh, wow the torque works really good actually so now i'm gonna do another test 
and see how fast it will go. Um, it should be about the same, but I know this is a bit faster this way. So it's about 16, 19, and the speed picked up pretty well. And um, as I said before, I weighed about 215. It's very windy actually to come because fast 23 on display and 22 on the GPS. So I use the rear brake because the front one I touched. So I reached 25 miles an hour which is pretty good actually um, for this type of heavy bike it's weight about 94 pounds so now i'm gonna go for another ride to see how it's doing on the grass as well on the grass i know how powerful the bike is basically on average um, 750 watt motor uh, the bike got about 50 miles an hour 16 sometimes on this uh, short uh, trip so let me see how fast it will go throttle only I am okay so now it will be grass test Wow, it's already 15, 16, 17, 18 miles an hour. So it's uh, doing as good as 1000 watt motor. Pickup speed really good. And I want to show you how the fork works, the hydraulic suspension fork. Also, I'll show you how the uh, rear suspension works. the brakes as well even it makes noise but it breaks real good and the way it makes noise is because I think I put some oil on it like accidentally dirt and stuff so I got about 22 miles and I'll stop to test the brakes 22 and 8 23 miles an hour on the display it's actually really good i love this bicycle regardless of the speed uh, it's supposed to go up to 28 miles so far it went up to 25 miles with me on it and i weighed 215 pounds which is actually great very premium parts on it the fork works really good as you could see uh, the rear suspension dual works really good as well comfortable seat and derailleur is by shimano altus which is great comes with uh, already attached this guard which helped me to save my other bike when it fall so i really appreciate the use of really good quality parts the tires it's uh, really good it's by kinder and it's puncture 
resistance so it uh, should be great the pedals it's very good as well by Velgo they usually comes in different type Velgo can do a more expensive cheaper one this one looks like it's good with a good traction over here so everything like the chain as you can see it's like stainless steel so everything in this bicycle is premium the guard they even take care of the guard as you can see the full guard mud guard they put extra over here holder so it will not shake so everything on this bike is solid uh, the rear rack it's small but you cannot touch the back and the seat can fit uh, probably two people i'm gonna ride it with my boy on it so um, that's why i love this bike as well it's uh, a little bit slimmer on this side so it makes it much more comfortable to ride versus to some other moped style bicycle it looks like a motorcycle my neighbor said it's motorcycle actually but it is a bike they trick you with the pedals i wish every bicycle have this feature like this one and the price i think it's a great price for this type of bicycle i know the change i'm not sure what the price will be when you see this video but i can tell you that my other bicycle with the same uh parts cost about 2300 but this one is just much cooler uh, headlight also the fork amazing it can be locked easily by twisting here adjust it load it also comes with a guard over here rubber guard so it will not scratch your uh, frame as you can see the cable management actually excellent as well you can see there's no cable around everything going through the frame and some cable of course over here but it's well managed everything you can easily disconnect let's say you need to replace your display you just unplug it and replace it everything plug and play this uh, brakes as well 180 millimeter front and rear 180 millimeter it's a perfect brake for this type of bicycle also it's hydraulic there is mineral oil over here and it's by logan i have the same brakes on my other premium bike and i think it works perfectly the only thing i think when i did adjustment yesterday i touch it and some oil so it makes some squeak but it's perfect you may want to subscribe to my channel because i am planning to make video how to adjust the brakes the hydraulic brakes and also how to straighten up the disc if they come a little bit bent it was millimeter brand but anytime the brakes are a little bit bent it might be not perfect so i made it perfect now it works it takes five minutes to do it so please subscribe so you can see it the stand is great it holds the bicycle very well if you want to guess where is controller you probably think it's in the frame but no it's actually under the seat hidden over here and i think it's aluminum box it's hidden very well good location because you mud guard it will never get wet so it's perfect location i try to find negative about this bicycle so i can disclose because most people like to watch reviews to see what is bad about this bicycle and i was thinking uh, and trying to figure out what i don't like about this bicycle and the only thing it's heavy 94 pounds 92 pounds it says on the box and i think they make mistake on the website it was 72 it's impossible for this type of bicycle to be that light because my other like fat tire bikes weigh about 65 pounds but the frame and battery is smaller so even the battery is much heavy on this bicycle so it makes sense to weight heavy but motor is pretty powerful i'll try to give you more rides off-road with a 360 camera i just got so please subscribe and you'll see a lot of amazing videos and remember always wear helmet uh, if you're riding the bicycle in california and every state have different laws in california if you're riding class 3 when you make faster speed above 20 miles an hour you have to wear helmet regardless of your age it's your life you do whatever you want to do but i like to wear helmet and this one is from ex nito designed for up to 28 miles speed so if you're planning to ride this type of bicycle or any faster more than 15 miles an hour bicycle it's great hamlet for that it comes with a front light and rear light again the bicycle looks real cool a lot of questions people ask me if it's a motorcycle or not but hey we trick people with this bicycle because you can ride this bicycle on the bicycle lane depending on the state 
and it's a bicycle but look as cool as motorcycle like dirt bike dirt bike whatever thank you guys for watching please again subscribe to my channel and i will make a lot of videos now with 360 and i will go off road on this bicycle so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video see you later bye